Okay, hello. Uh, this is video number two, and we're picking up pretty much uh, exactly where we left off after video number one. Uh, here we are in the Enterprise Onion Toolkit directory, and if I do dot slash EOTK projects, uh, we can see that we have one project called CNN, and if I do uh, instead EOTK maps, uh, oops, maps CNN, uh, it says that we are hard coding a map of this onion address to CNN.com. Doesn't list the subdomain information here, that's all in the config file. Um, one of the other things that's in this directory is set up demo config.show, which is a uh, heavy duty uh, configuration file with almost all of the options in it and a bunch of other sites for people to experiment with. If I just run this script, dot slash zero zero one uh, setup demo config.show, uh, this will generate a bunch of brand new onion addresses and splice them into the config file and give us a big config file to look at and explore. There we go, demo.conf is the file. ME demo, uh, that's my Emacs command, uh, demo.conf, here we go. And some interesting options uh, are here, which we haven't seen yet. Uh, Hello Onion, I'll demonstrate shortly, but that's a special magic URL that's hard coded into every Onion site that EOTK uh, sets up, or you can switch this feature off. Uh, DNS resolution, it's an important thing for Nginx. Some resource constraints some Tor tuning. This one is Tor Single Onion. This is all about using fast but non-anonymous uh, outbound circuits from Tor. So this is what you use if you don't mind attesting to the fact that you are running an Onion site and you're not trying to be spooky and secret and a whole bunch of other stuff like that. Uh, and then some examples. Uh, here's another project. It's the default project, which if you don't set a name, uh, you wind up in a project called default. And we've put ACLU and Liberty into that uh, because uh, those are two good uh, example sites. Um, inside another project called Digital Rights, we've got one, two, three, four other sites. And then journalists, we have committee uh, sorry, for protection of journalists there. Um, soft map, this is another feature which isn't finished yet, so I'll just skip this bit. So if I do dot slash EOTK config with demo.conf, this will set up a whole new bunch of projects. Uh, and I can do EOTK start default. Uh, and that will launch the uh, ACLU and Liberty onions. Um, part of the reason for this video is to demonstrate that this isn't a perfect solution, uh, and so you should get to know some of the things that you'll come across, uh, where the problems arise and where the rough edges are. So if I do EOTK status minus A, we can see that the default uh, project is running a Tor daemon and an Nginx daemon. Everything else is pretty much empty. Um, now, if I, oh, the other one is if I do Maps minus A, yeah, there's the listing. So uh, I want this onion, which is ACLU. So let's go over to here and go to dub 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 dot this. And I'm saying port 80 at the moment, so it's just HTTP, not HTTPS. It will redirect us and we will be caught by a certificate problem. Uh, there we go, insecure connection. Uh, if we hit the advanced button down here, the uh, SSL certificate is by an unknown issuer. In other words, the machine in front of me. I'm gonna add an exception for it. Let's look at the certificate. Here's the certificate. This is the one we created. Uh, details under here are the subject alt names, and it's for this onion and that onion, which should be the same ones as we see there, 345cc. Uh, and QQEB5, 345CC and QQEB5. So it's the certificate that we created locally. So I'm going to close this and I'm just going to confirm a security exception because I live dangerously and more to the point, I set this up myself. Um, issues that will, you will run into. I mean, this now looks like uh, the ACLU website, but running on an onion, which is cool. If I do inspect element, on the other hand, in the background, hit network, 
You can see that the website is serially loading one page and then the other, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, doing some graphics in the background. So here's a piece of JavaScript which doesn't like the fact that it's being rewritten on the fly to say one, uh, one moment it thinks it's aclu.org, the next minute it thinks it's some random onion. So there's some rough edges here. Also, um, I'm not seeing any other broken links here but you can wind up with other subdomains like cdn.something.onion, which would be a broken link. And you, what you would have to do is open the link using right click and do open in new tab, which unfortunately, if I go here and do right click, open in new tab, where's it gone? There, I can use that in order to open an image, oh, horrible image, um, in a new tab and accept the certificate associated with it. Another thing I can do is go to any domain like www.something.onion, I can just do slash hello hyphen onion slash on the end. And lo and behold, let's get rid of that, there we go. That's a hard coded URL inside every site that this uh, the Enterprise Onion Toolkit serves, and you can go to slash hello onion on any of them in order to accept SSL certificates. Right, uh, I think that's another good demo. I'll just try loading the other one, try loading liberties. Maybe there's something interesting here we can do. If I just copy text, go over here, new tab, paste, go. Let's see whether there's any interesting edge cases on the there's the, uh, I go to advanced, add exception, confirm exception. What have we got here on Liberty side? Uh, there we go. Liberty is the British equivalent of the ACLU. Inspect element, network, reload. Now this is looking fairly straightforward too. It's pretty much all lots of Twitter images and things. But this appears to be quite well behaved and seems to have survived the process quite nicely. Okay, I'll also stop this video here and then move on to the next if I can think of something useful to share with you. Uh, if not, have a nice weekend.